This third video will largely be focused on the construction of the solar air heater box. Prior to digging into that, I have received a few emails asking for more detail on the construction of the solar air cans. So I am including a little more detail on that process first. The adhesive I used is LePage PL Premium Construction Adhesive. It is water resistant, non-shrinking and paintable. It is recommended for both interior and exterior applications and both metal and foam insulation are listed among the many materials it will work with. Which means I can use the same product to adhere the one inch insulation to the inside of the aluminum solar air heater box. On the loading tray I position the can and slowly rotate it to evenly distribute the construction adhesive. The V-channel, made from baseboards, holds the cans perfectly straight. I then place a small piece of masking tape on each can to ensure that they stay flush against the tray during drying. This method has produced exceptionally straight solar air tubes, which will maximize the number of tubes I can place in a given space. As you may have already picked up on, I have chosen to manufacture my solar air heater boxes from aluminum. I chose 5052. I have no experience with 5052, but a great deal of experience with 6061 T6. Around here, 5052 is one third of the cost of 6061. So I looked into whether or not it would be a suitable building material. The metals are similar. 5052 makes more use of recycled content and 6061 is measurably stronger. 5052 alloy is the preferred choice in the market for consumer electronic casings. It's ideal for larger electronics like notebook computers and televisions. What I didn't like was how it cuts. A common technique for the do-it-yourselfer is to repeatedly score the material 10 to 15 times and then bend at the score to break it off. 6061 was far easier to work with than 5052, which required twice the number of score passes before attempting the break, as the aluminum is softer and appeared to want to bend rather than break. One sheet of 4 foot by 8 foot by 32 thou 5052 was $42. Wanting to maximize the use of the material, the length of my solar air heater was limited by the limits of my 8 foot bending break. I have 231 centimeters or about 91 inches between my clamping bolts. My experience with bending 6061 has taught me to leave a flange of about 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Any less material than that and you will get some deformation during the bend. Not knowing any better, I applied the same principles to the 5052. I used a 2 inch flange to create the bend and then used tin snips to manually reduce the flange size as needed later. I soon discovered that 5052, a softer metal, does not need this additional step. When I built the second solar air heater box, I just used 2.5 centimeters or a 1 inch flange and it worked out great. After completing all four bends for one solar air heater, you need to take the brake apart to remove the finished piece. When manufacturing the top cap, I increased the distance between the two bends by 2 millimeters to allow the cap to fit over top of the solar air box to facilitate drainage. Here I am manually removing the excess flange material needed, or as it turns out not needed, during manufacturing. Here I have just finished bending my second solar air heater box. This one was done with one inch flanges from the beginning. No additional cutting later. Awesome.
two solar air heater boxes ready to cap. When manufacturing the bottom caps, I decreased the distance between the bends by one millimeter to allow the caps to fit inside the solar air box to facilitate drainage. Here I'm bending two bottom caps at the same time. Assembling the solar air heater. The top of the units are against the wall, furthest from the camera. I'm using Clico clamps to temporarily hold the parts in place. Notice the bottom caps are inside the solar air box. Finishing up the last of the cutting of the flanges on the first solar air box. By the end of the day, I've manufactured two solar air heater boxes, both 91 inches by 24.5 inches. Stay tuned, more to come.